Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch of all of the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lips I have. I have 24 shades with me and I have swatched all of them on my arms and on the lips as well. Some of these shades do not really work out for me so I have shown you guys here how to make them work, how I mix and match shades. Most of the time I usually mix the lighter shades with two of the other shades called Barracuda and Mystic and I have shown that to you guys in this video. As you guys know I love Colourpop Ultra Satin Lips. They are just super comfortable, really nicely pigmented and they last really well on the lips as well. They are not completely matte, they do transfer and that's what makes them so comfortable and I will highly recommend these lipsticks. Without much further ado, let's get quickly started with the swatches. First up, we have Echo Park, which is a very light pinky nude. This one doesn't suit my skin tone at all and I usually mix it with a little bit of Barracuda shade. Then we have the shade Calypso which is a light pinky nude but this one kind of suits my skin tone so I don't mind wearing it with a lip liner. Next we have the shade 951 which is a light beige nude shade and this one also doesn't suit my skin tone that much but I don't mind wearing it sometimes and I usually mix it with either Mystic or Barracuda. Next is Dopey which is a light mauve shade and this one also doesn't suit my skin tone that well. Next we have the shade November which is a light pink and this one also doesn't suit my skin tone that well. I have to wear it with a lip liner or a deeper shade. Here I am mixing it with Mystic. Next we have the shade Canoodle which is also light pinky morph kind of a shade, doesn't suit my skin tone that well. Next we have the shade Asher which is like a brighter pink shade and sometimes I don't mind wearing this one but most of the time I mix it with a deeper shade. Next we have the shade Dreamy which is like a peachy nude shade. This also doesn't suit my skin tone that well so I usually mix it with a deeper shade. Next up is the shade Come Up which is a more brighter peach color and this one also doesn't really suit my skin tone so I mix this with the shade Barracuda most of the time. Next we have the shade Stud which is a beautiful brownish nude on my skin tone. I just love this shade so much. This is Rain, one of my all time favorite nude lipsticks. It is a reddish pinky nude shade.
Then we have the shade Frick and Frack, another of my all-time favorite nude lipsticks, a mauve nude. Next, of course, is Barracuda, very similar to Frick and Frack. I use this shade to mix with all of my lighter lipsticks. I just love this lipstick also so much. Next we have a beautiful deep plummy nude shade called Mystic, one of my favorite lipsticks to wear. Up next is Lion King, one of my favorite raspberry pink lipsticks. I will highly recommend this shade. One of my newer purchases, She Said, is also really pretty pink. I love this one. Then we have a light lilac lavender sort of a shade called Chance. I don't mind wearing this sometimes. Next we have a purple shade called High Suppose and this one I like better than the previous one. One more favorite lipstick, Virginia. This is a purpley pink. Just love this one. Next we have a deeper version called Panda and this also looks so beautiful. Next we have the shade Gifted which is a more deepened raspberry pink. Really really beautiful shade. I will highly recommend this one. Next we have Felix which is a bright orangey peach shade, doesn't suit my skin tone, I usually mix this with Barracuda. Next up is Rev which is a bright orangey red. too bright for my skin tone so I usually tone it down with Barracuda and then I love it. And lastly we have Kismet which is a bright red and this is a little bit bright for my taste but I don't mind wearing it. That's it everyone, those are all the shades I have. I really hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're watching me for the first time, I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.